Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you a free sample from our button title pack. So let's check it out. Alright, so you can just click the link in the description below to download this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. You will get this folder. In the folder you have a couple of things. You have the license, installation instruction, the GRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install uh, the fonts provided, otherwise the title will not work uh, properly. So select everything, double click on it and start the installation process or copy and paste them in your font folder. Then you can just double click on the GRFX file it will open this window, just click install, and now the sample is installed on your computer. Once we're in DaVinci Resolve, we can go over to the effect title, and here you can search for sample. It will just bring all the title that you may already have from us, uh, all the sample title, and then here you will find button sample. You can just take it, drag it here in the timeline, and here you go, you get the title. This title got an animation in and a simulation of clicked. So here, animation in and then clicked. By default, there is no animation out, but you can select from a bunch of different animation hat right here. You can also extend the title without any problem. It will work in any timeline, any resolution, any frame rate. So you can really just adapt it for any project. Another cool feature here is that you can adjust the animation length. So right now by default, it's one second, but you can choose from half a second to five seconds. So here, for example, we could do an increase of uh, one second. So it's gonna be a two second animation instead of one. Let's play it now. Then here you have a bunch of different drop down that give you a bunch of options. So you have the size and position, so you can adjust the size of your button. You can adjust the angle and the position of that button. If you want to put it, for example, here in a corner, you can do that. You can just double click on any parameter to reset that parameter to default. Uh, then button control down there, you can adjust the level. So here you could remove the outline. You can adjust the soft edges of the outline you could adjust the border width of that outline. Here you could as well click solid. As you can see now, the text disappear because it's a white background, but if we change it to, for example, here, uh, red, now we have a red button and just a white text. You can then adjust the width of that button. You can adjust the corner radius. So if you want to have a sharp corner or if you want to have a rounded corner, you can do that as well. You can obviously here in color change also for a gradient if that's something that you're into. So here we could do uh, red and for example, magentas. And here we will have gradient for the button. Then we have text control. So here you can change your text. You can change the font. You can change the color of the text, size, tracking, line spacing, and position of the text. We've also added two new tab, which is the shadow control and the glow control. So here you can easily add a drop shadow. So let me just bring a clip here. So here, for example, I've added that clip. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to button and just revert my change to solid color and white so we can see properly what we are doing right there. Then I'm just gonna go to text and change that to black. So as you can see, we can really, really quickly change the look of all button. Now the shadow control here allow us to have a drop down shadow. So here we can just increase the shadow strength. As you can see, we have now shadow behind the button. We can adjust also the drop angle. We can adjust as well the drop distance. So if we want to have that shadow far or closer to the button and we can adjust the blur. So right now it's quite a diffuse blur, but we could make it even more diffuse or we could make it solid, basically creating like some sort of 3D button. So here, if I were to adjust angle like that and reduce the drop distance, for example, here we'll create some sort of 3D button. You can obviously change the color of that button as well. So there is plenty of flexibility right there with that new uh, tab control. Then we have the glow control. It will work preferably here uh, with a colored button. So I'm just gonna go back to my button control and here I'm gonna switch back to um, a colored button. So here red like this and I'm gonna change again the text back to white. And here I'm gonna kill the shadow. Now, if I go to the glow control, I can just increase the gain and increase the glow size. And here we have a button that glow. So we, you can then play with the threshold. You can play with the gain. You can play with the glow size to really get the look that you want. We also added here the blend so you can reduce the overall effect easily. So first off, 
try to create the effect and then you can reduce the blend if that's a bit too strong for you. We also added the lock X and Y. So here the glow size is, uh, you know, uniform when you extend it both in width and in height but you could decide to break that and to create a bit more of a, a anamorphic lens look so with like a stretch out glow right now i'm just gonna leave it like that and reduce the glow size a little bit the next tab is the perspective tab so here uh, you can adjust the x axis you can adjust the y axis and the Z axis to just play with different uh, perspective and give a 3D uh, look to your title. The perspective combined with the shadow control can really give a cool 3D look to your title here if you play with the right parameter, can really give a different feel to the overall title. Right now, I'm just gonna double click on all the perspective parameter to reset that to the original one. And then the last tab here, we have the background. So it's basically an animated background where you can just raise the opacity and it becomes solid. So here at one, it's a full on black solid, but we could have it, for example, here at half and it will help the title to pop a bit more from the footage in the background. You can adjust the width, you can adjust the height, you can adjust the corner radius as well. Here you could click inverted to have it affect the image like a vignette and leave the middle unaffected. You could go further and create a full vignette here by just uh, raising the soft edge and here that will really affect gradually your image. And as I said, the background here is animated as well. I hope this video was interesting and useful. Again, if you want to use this title, there is a link to it in the description below. And it's a simple from all button title pack. If you're interested in more title like this, you can just click right there. It will bring you to the web page for the pack and you can check those 30 different title button simulation title for DaVinci Resolve. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.